x set x is given as uh, elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and the relation r is defined as pair x comma y where x minus y is divisible by 3 x minus y is divisible by 3 and we need to check whether r is an equivalence relation now you are asked to check whether r is an equivalence relation means you need to check the properties of reflexive symmetric and the transitive so first of all let us define the relation r what are the pairs now relation r is defined as pair x comma y where x minus y should be divisible by 3. So, means the difference of those two elements a minus b or x, x minus y should be divisible by 3. So, I can take pair 1 comma 4 and 4 comma 1. How? 1 minus 4 is minus 3, minus 3 is divisible by 3 and 4 minus 1 gives you 3, 3 is also divisible by 3. So, like this I can have the pairs like 2 comma 5, so 2 minus 5 is minus 3. And also 5 comma 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, both way minus 3, 3 divisible by 3, right. So also I can have 3 comma 6, 6 comma 3, 4 comma 7, 7 comma 4, again 1 comma 7 as 1 minus 7 is 6, 6 is divisible by 3. Also I can write as 7 comma 1, right. Then Right, these are the only possible pairs uh, where direct divisibility of 3 you can get. Now, can I write the pair 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 up to 7, comma 7? Yes. How? 1 minus 1, a, comma a or x, comma y, I can write. Right? Or x, comma x, sorry. Right? x, comma x because x minus x is 0. Right? Or a, comma a, you can say a minus a is 0 and 0 is always divisible by an any element. So, I can write the pairs 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6 and 7, 7. So, these are the only possible pairs in relation R. Now, let us check each and every property. So, first property is reflex relation. So, for every element A that belongs to the set X, right? pair a comma a should belongs to r it is there as pair 1 1 for every element in the set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you can see 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 7 are there in r hence you can see given relation is reflexive relation second property is an symmetric relation so what symmetric property says if it is if if a comma b belongs to r implies that b comma a also should belongs to r now check with the relation 1 comma 4 is there so 4 comma 1 should be there it is there 2 comma 5 then 5 comma 2 should be there it is there similarly 3 6 6 comma 3 should be there it is there 4 7 then 7 4 should be there it is there 1 7 then 7 1 should be there it is there hence you can say it is symmetric case Next property to check is the transitive. Now see how to check the transitive property. The transitivity says if AB belongs to R and BC belongs to R, it implies that A comma C belongs to relation R. Check 1, 4, 4, 1. A, B, B, C. 1, 4, 4, 1 means pair. 1 comma 1 should be there in relation R. It is there. Then 2 5 2 5 5 2 means 2 comma 2 should be there. It is there. So likewise all possible combinations you need to check. 3 6 6 3 means 3 comma 3 should be there. It is there. 4 7 and 7 4 means 4 4 should be there. It is there. 1, 7, 7, 1, 1, 1 should be there, it is already there. Right? These are only possible uh, combination of pairs which you can check for the transitivity. Right? And it holds true. Okay? For 
single for single combination if you get false like uh, for uh, if i am checking uh, 3 6 and 6 3 right 3 6 and 6 3 if i am checking and yeah if i don't find the pair 3 comma 3 right then immediately there so you can see it uh, doesn't satisfy the transitive property as 3 comma 3 pair is not there in the relation r even though the rest 1 4 4 1 then 1 1 and uh, this uh, 2 5 5 2 uh, then 2 2 all those pairs are there single combination it's false you you don't find the pair means it doesn't satisfy the transitivity property but in this case it for all possible combination it satisfies the transitivity hence you can say the relation is equivalence relation as it satisfies as it satisfies the reflexive symmetric and transitivity property it is it is it is equivalence relation as reflexive symmetric and transitive properties and transitive property it satisfies satisfied 